Du, 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 All right. I'm revisiting NVDA, NVIDIA Corporation. That symbol is tradable on the NASDAQ technology sector industry semiconductors. Um, I got a request to check out NVIDIA, Microsoft, Apple, a few of those uh, leading stocks that we had pulling up that NASDAQ. And I'll, I just said I grabbed up the NVIDIA chart and I just looked at it and said, okay, things have changed. Uh, it was in the stage two for a long, long, long time. This is the weekly. And after that, it's starting to break down. So what do I do usually? Well, I go on the monthly. And look at that. Do do awesome duper base. And check, remember, right? Look at that, that base. Oh, it's so tight. Well, before, well, it would look like that again. So remember your charting software, always going to try to put the highest close to the top and try to fit the high to low. And it's always going to try to fit that in. And when those lows or those highs, if there's new highs that appears, so well, it's going to squish down the previous action, skewing the data, skewing your perception. So don't let yourself influence but by say, oh, this is high, I'll never get that high again. Well, look what happened. See, 260. And it's probably the same thing on the downside, except the downside, well, zero, zero, right? Can't get lower than that. Or can you? So this thing has been going up this is monthly, man. And NVIDIA would have treated you very well. Up, up, up. Not a lot of red candles. Four or five months consolidation. Two months here. Sideways move. Two months. Up, up. Starting to get volatile. I don't like these crazy green candles on the monthly chart. They look nice. Your nav explodes. And you're, you're a superstar. But uh, you know after that. You're going to have to live a little bit of pain, a little drawbacks, a little sideways move to get closer to that 12-month moving average. Because eventually it will break that 12-month moving average. It's just a question of time, right? You're above it. Awesome, awesome. Stage uh, 2 on the monthly. This is very, uh, very strong stage 2. Big moves. Monthly, man. This is really awesome. But once you start, you have a close below. And we're still in October. The close is not yet done yet. But we're right below. And if you close below the 12 month moving average, well, you do not want to be in the stock anymore. You want to let it rest. It's going to need a sideways move. It just resets the clock, guys. And you just got to take a step back. So, right now, in danger, danger territory right here. Doesn't mean you want to short it. To be able to short it, you want the 12 month moving average to start going downwards. For that to happen, is you need more price action below the 12 month moving average. Then it's going to start making it go down. And that's a downtrend. Uptrend, no trend, sideways move, downtrend. But you need price action below. This is just the first step. This is a big, this is a first warning sign, big, big warning sign. That you should get out of there. All right, so what do we do? Let's identify. First, I'm going to remove all those squiggly lines. So this is the monthly defined breakout line, 284. And this, this is my breakdown line right here at 225. And that's my pattern right here. Is it going to go back down here, test the breakdown line, go back up, not get the, uh, not making a higher high. So now you're starting to have lower highs, creating maybe the beginning of a downtrend. And after that break, after that, what does that mean? You're going to start having lower lows and downtrend. That's just my imagination. And I use it a lot. And I try to make my imagination reflect my observations on reality, on previous uh, observations of uh, behavior, of chart patterns, of what I've learned, what I've read. And after that, try to have the, the most uh, realistic imagination. Not just say, guys, oh, look, I'm using my imagination. Uh, oh, it's going to go up here. You know, that doesn't make sense. Trying to use real real life experience 
and uh, try to sort out what is going to be most probable next move, guys. So that's it. All right, let me put those uh, lines back in. Where'd I have it? Where'd I? What? Okay, you know. Got to do that. There you go. Back, 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 back. Long live Control Z. Yay. Okay, let's zoom in on the weekly. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I love the Mansfield relative strength on the trading view. One of the main reasons I'm there. Could pop in compared to anything you want. Now baseline SPX. Want to outperform the SPX. And NVIDIA has would have treated you so well. Green above the ring average, inclining 30 week average and outperforming the SPX. You don't have to be spread out a lot to make a whole bunch of money to have a successful trade. NVIDIA would have done it for you. You would have been moving your sell stops along the way. Oh, pull back. Pull back, go back up. Here. Here. Oh, here you could have got probably triggered up on this pullback right here. If you're doing the trader's way, half of your position. If the investor's way, you're still under here. You're still in the trade. And you know what? It's all right. There's going to be, if this happens into a stage two and get triggered out, then you save time. These are weak. So let's say your sell stops right here below that low. Price action goes below. You get triggered out. So now you're out. You still ran the profit from wherever you entered the breakout down here up to here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So for ten weeks, your nav, you could have invested somewhere else. And the day that it explodes back on the crazy volume, look at that. Relative strength had time to cool down. Crazy candle, twice, four times the average of the previous four weeks. Horizontal breakout line. And then you just get back in right here. That's it. Then you move up to pull back. Price action moves back up. Your sell stop is moved here. The invest traders way. Investors here. Here, 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 here. Oh. For you to move your sell stop up, you need the price action to start getting very close to previous size. So the price action goes back down here. And the pullback's in progress, but you see that right here is still not close enough to the previous height for you to move your sell stop. And there you go. Now it overcame the previous high or got very close to it. Then you move your sell stop below that low or below the 30 week average, whichever is uh, closer. Oh, goes back down. See, previous. Right there. Pull back here. Give him make a case that you want. You could put it back here. And now you're the trader's way and the investor's way. See how it's getting tight? Your sell stop are getting closer and closer. That's a sign of uh, the trend get, starting to end, guys. You're testing more and more that 3 week average. You're not as uh, distanced. And after that, bam. You even had a case here. Pull back. Price action goes back up. And you would have... If you would have done it the Stan Weinstein way, you would have exited, man, almost close to the top. It's crazy. Sometimes you get really close. You never sell the top, never enter the real bottom, but you would have moved it. You, you would have been able to ride that stage too as long as possible. But now situations change, guys. Hitting some monthly defined resistance or, or defining it, and you're, you're below three average. You don't want to be there. Look at that. Out of the green into the red, declining 30 week MA, you're below the 30 week MA and you're underperforming the SPX. Not a place you wanna be, guys. So definitely, definitely not be there. Crescendo, red volume right there. And the only reason we're not gonna short it right now is because we're not out of the Ichimoku cloud. We haven't closed below that monthly defined breakdown line. We also haven't closed below that weekly defined breakdown line which i think is around the 200 215 level 212 level 
So there's a little bit more action that's going to happen. Probably going to sink through here. Go back up. Third room average is going to, what's going to, more price action you have below the third room average, the more is going to start angling downwards. You're going to test these, uh, these previous support lines turn resistance. And then after that, bounce down, maybe another bounce. Maybe that one might get, might just get one more bounce up close to 30 week moving average, probably close below 30 week average. And after that down, close below that monthly defined breakdown line at 2, 220, 223, and then close below that weekly defined breakdown line at 212 and below. And by that time we'll be out of the Chimuk cloud and then I'll be free fall from there. That's how I see a stage four case developing from this uh, currently stage three. I'm uh, changing my opinion all the time. If ever the, the price action starts reverting and starts uh, going back upwards and through average starts going back, I'll change my mind. But right now, the weight of evidence is we should be looking at a stage four breakdown and not a stage two continuation. You don't want to see this big red candle here, big, big warning sign. On an uptrend, you want to see small red candles going down, but after that, green candle exploding. You don't want to see big, big red candle like that, especially on increasing, uh, starting to increase volume right there. Too early to short. I want a sm some more breakdown action here and um, make sure we're out of the clear here. You don't want to short, and after that, bounces back, crazy bounce back up because there's still strength, and then people are selling into strength, but that wick could trigger you out because I don't know where you're going to put your sell stop. You should put it up here, but um, that's going to make you have a small position, position size. Better wait. Let the, the market really sell all that strength out. All those buyers sell, sell, sell. And when there's no more buyers and that's or less buyers than, uh, than sellers, you'll be about here, and that's going to be a good place to short. You'll have a better resistance right here closer to the breakdown line you'll be able to put yourself up right on top right on top of the 30 average right on top of the pullback you'll be able to see how it behaves on the pullbacks if it's on contracting volume then you are golden and that's it all right nvidia can't wait to short ya Ciao, guys. Do, 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 and don't forget to subscribe the channel.